Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is Nintendo Capri Sun and we're going to talk to Lulu he now. Is dead, and I am still alive. Coming here really makes that clear. I should focus more on what I have to do now. <laughs> yeah, I guess. W what? <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm saying. Don't you mean that you should leave Chapu behind? I'm sure he was a great guy, but there'll be others. Hmm, that's a possibility. Like me. Mm. How about mm, Waka? Well, of, of what, course. With Waka? <laughs> yeah, you two get along great. Getting along isn't enough. Not even close. Yeah, you can say that again. Oh, sorry. My mistake. You'd do well to remember that. Why? Knowing a bit about women might come in handy someday. <laughs> yeah, I'll remember. Yeah, I know plenty I about women, trust me. Either. Goodbye, Chapu. You always said I looked grumpy. But those were the happiest days of my life. Oh, man. That line always kind of... Like, I don't know, breaks my Why heart Why don't you bit. try calling someone? All you have to do is think about them. Hmm. I suppose. Okay. Dad! Dad! Oh, wait, no. We don't want Sin coming here and killing everybody. So, uh, Yuna? I've decided. Uh, oh, really? Uh, that's good. You're gonna say no to that yeah. asshole, aren't you? When I was only seven years old, in Bavel that day, my father had defeated Sin, and the whole town was out in the streets. Everyone was laughing. They all seemed so happy. If I defeated Sin, that would make everyone happy, wouldn't it? Hell yeah. I must do what everyone wants, not just what I want. Let's go back. You gotta tell Seymour. Before that, call Sir Jack. Give it a try. Oh, don't tell- Don't worry. <sighs> he won't come. Trying not to think about my old man. Made me think about him, of course. Amen to that. Doesn't that always happen? He isn't here because he's not dead. He's sin. <laughs> <laughs> that means he's alive, you know. What if my old man really is sin? Oh, what God. What would I say to Yuna? Heck, uh, to everybody in Spira. Wait, why should I have to apologize for him anyway? Yeah, really. I'd rather never see him again. Oops. What makes you hate him so? Everything he does just makes me mad. It was his fault that me and my mother... Oh, uh, there's his mother. Uh, <laughs> Mom? I love how they set that up. It's her. She's very pretty. Uh, yeah. Huh. But... Wait. No one ever performed the sending for her. She must have accepted death while she was still alive. Whoa there. Uh, that's my mother you're talking about. Yo, mama. Oh, I I'm sorry. Yeah. Hmm. It's okay. Uh, I think I just figured something out. What? What's that? Why I hate my old man. See? So, so I told, I told him, him what I thought of him right there. What? Really? Of course. <laughs> I suppose, but... Mommy! Just a sec, dear. Whenever my old man was around, my mother wouldn't even look at me. Maybe that's when I started to resent him, even hate him. When he left us, Mom just lost her energy. Is she all right? Why should you care? If she dies, I wouldn't know what to do. Don't say Mom is gonna die. I apologize. The old lady next door told me, when a lovebird dies, the one left behind, it just gives up living so it can join its mate. It was just like that. I hated my old man even more. But really, my old man... Mommy! Just, Just a, sec, a sec, dear. I go to him. He'll cry if you don't.
Oh, man. Hmm? I must sound so stupid. I don't think so. How embarrassing. Well, need some more time. No. I'm ready. Did I miss something? <laughs> man. There have been times before in LPs when I've said that I was speechless, but that's the first time I think I've really been left speechless by something just watching that again. Thanks for waiting. I'll go give my answer to Maester Seymour. <gasps> Holy crap. Lord Jiskel. Lord Jiskel? Lord Jiskel. What, was he trying to come back to life? Oh, get back in there. You're dead. Does not belong here. You can't push it with your finger. You're dead. Yuna, send him. See, the problem with you is you still think you're real. You think you're wearing those clothes? Wait, what's going on with Oren? Holy crap, he just kind of fell over. Lord Jiskel. He is Lord Jiskel no more. Send him now. You ain't got a body no more, son. If you want to push something, you got to push it with your mind. You got to focus. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Get back in there. Just what was going on there? He was like... Maybe he didn't accept death while he was still alive. Talk later. We leave now. Or something. Uh, what was that just now? That really Lord Disco? Uh, just listen. <laughs> I don't understand how a man like Lord Jiskel can die and not be sent. I would think that he was sent once. But he stayed on Spira. Something. A powerful emotion. Could have bound him to this world. Such oh, great! You're changing the rules now. That's against the rules, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That means he died an unclean death. Mm. Unclean death. Yeah, that sounds bloody. Since blood is dirty and unclean is the opposite of dirty. Well, actually, it means dirty. <sighs> yeah, heaven forbid we tell the truth, right? You know, because people can't handle the truth. No, okay. I guess we gotta go tell Seymour to fuck up, or to, to, uh, that we're not gonna marry him, so. I will go. Meet with Maester Seymour. Kick him in the balls for me! Yuna, Jisco is the Guado's problem, not yours. Uh, well, we can help, right? Ugh. Selfishness and separation have led me to believe the world is what? not my problem, but I am the world, and so you are the world. What do you think about Yuna getting married? I think it sucks. As long as the pilgrimage continues, either way's fine. Okay. That's it? What if she doesn't even like the guy? Is that okay? <laughs> People marry for many reasons. Yeah, What's boy, that? do they ever. Sometimes marriage doesn't require love, you know? What? Defeat sin and bring joy to the people of Spira. Get married and bring joy to the people of Spira. For Yuna, they're just two ways down the same road. Huh. All you need is determination. If you have that, you don't need love. Yeah, but then you're stuck with the guy for the rest of your life. Then what do you do? I don't know. Mm, I just don't get it. Ah, I don't either, Titus. Whatever. What's this guy running around for? It's called endurance training. Stay out of my way. Stay away from the runner. Um... So what do we do now? We just wait for Yuna's favorable reply. For a while there, I was a little worried about what was gonna happen, huh? Yep, so was I. We leave as soon as Yuna returns. I trust you'll be ready. Yeah, I'll be ready. Ready to kick some ass. Well, she's not coming out. They better not be making out in there. My heart is trembling right now at the thought of what she's doing with him in there. Because I don't think I want to know. So, whoa. Guado potions good. Buy some before leaving. I've never seen this cutscene before. What the heck? Uh -huh. I guess so Kimori's still talking after all. That's awesome. I'm sure Guado potions aren't as good as the Albed potions. Oh. Oh, let's chat. I tell you, these Guado merchants are shrewd. Huh. Ripping off the pilgrims. They come to visit the fireplace. <laughs> Listen. You watch that they don't get you too. Sure, I'll, Me, I'll do you that. Can trust. 
More than a guado, at least. What do you say? Sure, he'll say that right in front of where the guy can hear you, right? Let's see. What do you got for weapons? Double edge. That's water. Lightning strike. Belladonna wand. Yeah, no. Blind pass. It's funny, because see, I love the names they give to these, like Dark Touch, because it inflicts blindness, so it's called Blind Pass. That's just awesome. Okay, Riku could use that. And equip. Even though she's probably not going to be doing much attacking. Um, we got some lightning-resistant equipment, which actually, this is not a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now to go ahead and get one of these for everyone. You will not regret it, I promise you that. I promise you that. Hang on to your other equipment, but just go ahead and get all these yellows and equip them all. Now, I'm actually a little concerned about the place where I'm going, insofar as my capture card might not be able to handle it very well. Uh, so... 3487. What did I just buy those for from Milwaukee? Let me check that out, even though it doesn't matter. <laughs> um... It's 3487. Yeah, he gave it to me for 2325. Okay, awesome. So that donating actually helped out a little bit. Oh man. Okay, 43 minutes, so we got about 3 or 4 minutes left here. I beg you, please tell no one about Lord Jiskel. Why, if word leaked out that the Lord of the Guado and a Maester of Yevon wandered from the far plane, we Guado would become the laughing stock of Alspira. Yevon have mercy upon us. Why, Lord Jiskel? We gave him such a warm sending. Oh, uh, well, there's Riku. When we leave here, we have to go through the Thunder Plains next, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, the first of many you knows that Riku says when she's worried Guado about something. Potions. Yeah, I heard you already. Guado Potions, good. So have we talked to everybody here? What else am I supposed to do now? Oh, I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to try to leave. That's always what's... You know, when in doubt, try to leave. That's cool. Oh, yeah, that's so sweet. Hey, wait, there's a treasure here. What is this? Obtained elixir. This thing comes with power windows. Okay, let's go... No, 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 go down here and try to... Come back here through the tunnel. And what were we just looking at down there? What is this down here? I don't even remember. I don't remember where any of these doorways go. Like, I'm seriously... Uh, you want to welcome all guests. Would you like to rest here? Maybe later. I don't think there's anything else in here. Ah. Uh, yeah, exactly. Hey, here's Machen. Care to hear about the far plane or the fireflies? Oh, God. Uh, do we have time for one of these? Uh, I guess we can finish the... Yeah. Ahem. The far plane is the place where fireflies, born from ascending, gather. They appear in the shape of people who die gone to the far plane. Uh, Quite the phenomenon. How I wish I understood it more fully. The owl bed have a theory, you know. They say the fireflies are just reacting to visitors' thoughts and dreams. But only the dead appear on the far plane. No image of the living has ever been seen. Well, we were just there. It's a great mystery. But maybe, maybe the dead leave a bit of themselves in the heart of the living. And that little bit borrows the firefly's power for their paranormal performance. Or vice versa. Or maybe not. Who knows? And that, as they say, is that. Very well. So tell me about Can't the, uh... About the tell me about the fireflies. Uh -huh. They may be called fireflies, but they aren't really flies, you see. No. There are those lights you see whenever a fiend dies. Ah. The little fellows are responsible for a few fantastic phenomena. Visions of the past, spheres, fiends, these are all the fireflies doing. In fact, fireflies have something to do with aeons, too. Really? The dreams of the faith reach through the spirit of the summoner. And that which is unreal becomes real for all to see. Mm. Or maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> and that, as they say, is that. Is that. Alright, well, thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry I had to end on such a commentary -less note, but I'm going to save here. And in the next episode, we will either play Blitzball or go to the Thunder Plains. It's a tough call, because if, if, if my capture card doesn't react very well to the Thunder Plains, then I'll probably, uh... uh. 
then I'll probably just play Blitzball and show you that. And then hopefully by the time I can uh, get myself a uh, get myself the Hapage, then with the Hapage capture card, which is the one I'm going to get, then uh, and maybe at that point, uh, you know, I'll be done with the Blitzball and there will be no break. But I might have to put the LP on hold if that happens. So hopefully it doesn't. I don't think it will. Or at least, I mean, I don't actually know, but well, we'll see. Okay, so I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye.